You should have rung. I'd have, I'd have brought his gear in. Oh, this is stupid phone. Hey, can you just stand still a second? Talk to me. I've not come here for a chat. Well, too bad, because we need one. Look, you've spent all night with Lachlan. You can just give me a second. You take some time out. Time out? OK. I'm sorry, that was a bad choice of words. I get that. If I... you did, you never would have left him in the first place. I'm sorry, Lachlan's stealing from your dad and selling those pills. That's not down to me leaving him alone for a few hours. But him almost dying is. OK, fine. Lash out. I can take that. But he's going to want to try stuff, and you breathing down his neck is only going to make it worse. Is that what I do? Breathe down his neck? Well, you want to protect him? Yeah, well, I failed at that then, haven't I? No. Do you think I drove him to this? No, God, no. No, I did, didn't I? No wonder he wanted to escape. That's why he sent me to pick up his things, just to get me out of his face. Chris, no, and just don't you... be wondering where I am. Can you just, can you just look after things here, please? Well, Chris, I want to help. Well, well, this is how. Just stay here, please. What's your iron about? Starting his dinner, Brett. Here. Well, I'll just uh, go through then, shall I? No, you're all right. Aaron, love. Oh, hey. You got a sec? No, I'm late back and Kane's in the mood again. Only I could do with a chat about my investment. A little wait. Orange juice, thanks. When you're ready. You're wasting your time glaring. Cos if looks could kill, he'd have gone to hell ages ago. Go on, what's he done now? Investment he's on about. For Aaron's taxi business. It's ten grand. Exactly. How did you forget the straw? To suck the fun out of my day. Clever. But you know what isn't? Investing in a taxi firm with no chance of profits for years. If ever. It's nice, that. That faith you've got in your son. Call it experience. Me and Deb's tried the whole taxi thing years back. Yeah, well, maybe Aaron's a bit better at business than you are. I hope so. Because then him and Adam have got a chance of scraping a living. But as for profits, not a chance. So why invest? Well, I help two local lads down on the look. It makes me look good, which makes Home Farm look good. Start with a church or a village knees up. That's a bit obvious, don't you think? Well, it looks better than backing two ex-cons. You're too short-sighted. It's probably best uh, you stick to serving drinks and uh, keep your nose out what you don't understand. Chris, it's okay. I'm, I'm okay. I'm... Please, could you just go? Please. No, I'm sorry, I can't. Not when you like this. Yeah. Is it your son? Is he all right? Yeah, he's, he's fine. Um, he's fine till the, till the next time. Oh, the joys of bringing up boys, eh? <sighs> Our Jacob's not even hit puberty yet and already he's a trouble magnet. Oh, uh, yeah, well, he's not the same. Oh, once those hormones take hold, who can tell, eh? Trust me, it's not, not the hormones. It's, um... It's just who he is. And, and, I just... I, I think I'm out of my depth. <laughs> Is this where you tell me it's not my fault? <laughs> That'd be a bit pointless, wouldn't it? Look, I know what it's like to look away for two minutes when a few child's nearly die. You blame yourself and you shouldn't. The thing is, I didn't look away. Not completely. Robert said he'd look after him till I got back. Right, so Lachlan snuck out then? No. Robert did. Apparently some meeting was more important than the safety of my son, so... Is it so wrong just to want to keep an eye on my son all the time? No, of course it's not. Oh, God. I can't face any more sympathy. Um... Look, right, there must be another way of you looking out for your son other than... Locking him away? Well, yeah, I mean, David started this football thing now. You know, that'd keep Lachlan busy. Okay, can I think about it? I just, I, I really need to go. I just want to go home. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Has <sighs> something happened with Lachlan? Is he worse? Oh, no, nothing like that. Well, then what? She just thinks she's a really rubbish mum. And all she did was trust her fiancé to keep an eye on her son and he just stopped and disappeared. Why? Well, I said he had a meeting. <laughs> yeah, she didn't look too convinced by that excuse either. Can't stop, cos I'm gonna be late, but I've got some brilliant news for you. Lachlan is joining your gang. 
Gang. A team. Anyway, <sighs> guy's too old. Well, I don't know, make him an assistant or something. Well, he's not a very good role model. He's a druggie, isn't he? No offence. Which is why he needs someone to see him right. Someone he can look up to. But you'll have to do. Did I just hear you say that that lock comes back on his feet? Well, not yet, but soon. Any day now. Why do you care? I don't. If you think Robert will pull his investment because his mind's on the kid, then don't worry. Might have had a word earlier. But it was a total waste of time anyway. He's set on for been helping you out. Sees himself as the right little guardian angel. What are you doing here? You don't want visitors. Lock the door. Right, can you go, please? You're properly spooked, aren't you? What have I ever done to make you so uncomfortable? Well, finally getting this place on the market. But are you going to leave, or am I going to have to call Andy? What is it you want, Robert? Chaz, she reckons I'm not the best person to be in business with. You're encouraging that opinion. Don't. She's my friend. She doesn't need me to tell her what you really like. But what's wrong, Robert? What, too many people seen through your bull? Just send her my way. I'll set them straight. You know, you keep trying to turn people against me and I'm gonna have to defend myself. Oh, I'm shivering in my boots here. You see, you reckon you've got me spooked. But I'm not the one walking around like they've got something to hide. Or someone. Well, you're gonna hit me. Is that your answer? No. That's more your new husband's style. I just want to be clear. You keep coming after me, keep getting in my way, and it's going to be goodbye to the farm and goodbye to your happy future with Andy. <laughs> 